hey guys welcome back to data with dominic and in today's video i'm gonna show you how to fix the dbfs issue which many of you are facing which is basically the most this mostly happens when it's uh, your first few times working with databricks but the issue is that you can't find or explore your uh, dbfs which is your databricks file store in the data section of the databricks tab so we've got this databricks this data section in this tab and when we open that we can only view databases and tables we can't view the dbfs so just to give you a short rundown of what the dbfs is uh, the databricks environment basically works like a lake house which means it's got its structured and it's got its, got its semi-structured and unstructured section so the structured section will work uh, like an sql server with databases and tables and the the Inner working mechanisms are not the same, but they give the same appearance of structures and ta databases and tables. So that's the structured part. And the other part is the DBFS, which is the unstructured part, which is uh, DBFS stands for Databricks File Store. And as the name suggests, it's a file store for storing flat files like CSV, JSON, Parquet, Avro. And you can so store them in a folder structure with a hierarchy. So how we can access the DBFS if we can't see it here is basically we have to come down we have to go to settings once we hit settings we have to go to admin console once we're in admin console we have to go to workspace settings and scroll down once we scroll down you can see this dbfs file browser all right and then that will be disabled mostly for new people when they first sign up to the uh, the databricks community edition so we're just going to turn this on and you must refresh the page for this change to take effect. So we refresh the page, head back to our notebook, and then if we view the Databricks tab, now we can see this DBFS function and uh, button here. So once we click that, then we can enter our file structure and uh, go through all the data that we have in there so we we can then copy the paths which allow us to then use these flat files to load data into data frames and then work with them and transform them so that's it for this video guys thank you guys for watching don't forget to like subscribe share comment and hit the bell icon and we'll see you in the next one